Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure over here what we're actually setting up. What symbol is it? Now, we want here, for example, do we want a vertical parent, a vertical child? What do we want? We want a vertical parent, like so, and the type is going to be a control relay. So we've done it. Those two objects are now forming a vertical parent of a control relay. Now, vertically means that the connections come in vertically, not horizontally. So they'll be coming out of there and out of there. So that's our data set up. So there's a preview there. And what I'm going to do now is click on OK. And that now brings up what looks like the block editor. And strangely enough, it is. It's the dynamic block editor that you would see normally in AutoCAD. Let me just drag the symbol builder attribute editor over here, like so. That's what we need. Now you'll see there's a block authoring palette. That comes up every time the block editor kicks in in AutoCAD. Now we're going to close the block authoring palette. We don't need it. It just keeps the drawing nice and tidy. And then what I can do now is drag the symbol attribute editor over here, like so. I want to position it in a way that I can actually see what I'm doing here, like that. So I want to be able to see part of my block, like that. Now, we're going to select the data that we need. So I need tag1, I need MFG, manufacturer, and so on. Now you notice as I just click on them, it selects one at a time. So use your control key. And then like that, you can select multiple tags as you go. So we need all of these. So keep going until you get to description one. And then you also want installation and location, like so. So they are now selected. And we want to click on Insert Attribute. Now, where is Insert Attribute on the actual Block Attribute Editor? I say Block Attribute Editor. I actually mean Symbol Builder. It is a block, but it's an AutoCAD electrical block. So if I go here, Insert Attribute, like so. It inserts the attributes. Now, I need to move the Attribute Editor over here. And as you can see there, Insert All Attributes using Template Base Point. So what I'm going to do here is select it at approximately 0, 0, something like that. But it's very hard to see. So I'm going to zoom a little bit by rolling on the wheel there. And I'm going to drop them roughly there, like that. So they've all been added. Now, when I come out, can you see, if I pan, they're all over here. So what I want to do is select those ones there and maybe just move them a little bit. So it's a right click, move, and pick a point roughly there. And because you're in the Symbol Builder Attribute Editor, you can just drop them like that and then just drag. So there's all of those attributes ready for that symbol. Now, what I am going to add now is some other attributes. So I'm going to deselect all of these like so and just click away. And then I want Description 1, Control, Description 2, Description 3. Insert Attributes again. Now, I'm just going to drag those so they're about there. So now when I pan, there's all of my information, my data attributes that I actually need for this particular symbol that I'm creating. So I've added my data now. What I need to start adding now are my wire connections, and we'll cover that in the next exercise.